the media in the rest of Canada really hasn't covered this. I think it's the same story we're reading, uh, like a wire copy story that is published everywhere. I, uh, how has the Quebec media been covering it for Quebecers? Has it been as tilted or has it been more fair? I have to say that historically it's like in English Canada. If you look at what happened during the students' crisis in the uh, uh, spring of 2012, the media was very sympathetic to them, even if they were breaking the law and having illegal protests day after day after day. Now I'm going to tell you, I have to admit, the tides are changing a bit, Ezra. Uh, last week we saw La Presse, which is not known as a right-wing paper, as you know, um, and they came out with a huge story on for on two days talking about we shouldn't be scared of the extreme left and uh, extreme right, because if you look at the record, there's been there's been no criminal activities going on over the last few weeks or a few months or a few years. But the extreme left, they found out all sorts of things, even a website telling you how to organize protests illegally, how to vandalize the public good and all sorts of things like that. And, and with different stories that are linked that we can show that they were responsible uh, for activities, for criminal activities that led to a few million dollars of damages to the, to, 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 you know, to public good. So right. the tides are changing a bit. And also even the cultural world is changing. We saw some humorists, some, uh, you know, who came out uh, slamming the extreme left because now the extreme left is also attacking guys who are making jokes, who are earning their lives to make jokes about different things uh, that are going on in our society. And we even saw a protest of the extreme left last week where they were saying, it's Guy Nantel, okay? He's the humorist. He's a, he's a very well-known guy here who's on stage and makes us laugh uh, often. And they've attacked him. And there was even signs saying, we want more Omar Kader in Canada than Guy Nantel. So they want more guys who are terrorists than people who are only making jokes to make people laugh uh, for, for entertainment. It's just unbelievable and insane. So even in the cultural community that is usually a stronghold and supporter of the extreme left, now we see a change of tides and many of them are saying, now we're scared and we're concerned about the extreme left. That's an excerpt from my daily TV show, The Ezra Levant Show. Normally it's behind a paywall, but I thought you'd like this video, so we put it on YouTube. Uh, if you want to subscribe to watch The Daily Show every day, including always two interviews a day and I read my hate mail, just click on this screen and become a premium member.